Hi there, Trisha here, and I'm going to go over the three trades that I took today. Um, if you want to get these two setups that I use, you can go to www.easyeminitrade.com. Um, so here we go. The first trade that I took today was at 1013, and this was a scalp trade setup. Um, you can see we've got divergence on the one indicator, and um, the squeeze setup is starting to set up and typically I don't get in and anything once it's in overbought territory but this was just crossing over um, the overbought mark so um, I took it and I'll tell you the reasons why um, on the next screen but anyway I got in at 846.75 and if you use a trail stop method you would have been stopped out at 850.50 for a gain of three and three quarters um, if you scale out, you would definitely easily got your plus two and plus four. Um, so that was a nice trade. This is the longer tick chart. Um, and the one that you just saw was my smaller tick chart that I take my scalp entries off of. Where that white arrow is, is right where um, our entry was. Now it is right below the two moving averages, but to me, and again, you know, this was just, um, you know, an assessment that I made. Um, it looked like the two moving averages were getting ready to cross over, leading me to believe that it was probably going to go higher. Um, and also that bar just below the white arrow is a bullish bar. So I was willing to take the chance. Um, also, you'll notice that the close from yesterday is that um, thick red line on this chart. And, you know, typically I don't take entries that are close to that, but um, in this particular case, um, I had at least six points before I got to that red bar. So um, I think in my case, the reward, um, in my opinion, was going to outweigh the risk. So I decided to take it. This is another scalp trade that's set up um, for me at 10.52. Um, we have our divergence and we have our setup on um, the other indicators. And this is, of course, off the smaller tick chart. Um, again, this was just crossing over into overbought territory so I felt okay taking it um, typically on a day that is not trending I would not be so bold um, but today was definitely a nice trending day um, so I felt confident in taking it just because all my other indicators on my other charts um, were confirming that we were going to go higher so I decided to take the chance um, and so this I got in at 852 and a quarter and I trail stopped out at 855 for a gain in, of three and a half and again if you scaled out on this one you would have easily got your plus two plus four um, so another nice trade you can see the box up in the right is where I got trail stopped out um, so anyway, you know, as you get used to these setups, you can make these judgment calls for yourself. Um, you know, usually when you see divergence on the indicator, um, it's a really strong indication that it's going to go, um, obviously, in the direction of the divergence. Um, now, if this was in overbought territory, um, you know, for a much longer time, I w and then the um, scalp trade set up, then I would not enter, but it had just crossed into overbought. So like I said, because of the trending day, I felt pretty confident. Now, the other reason why I took this trade is um, right where you see the circle, this is our um, small time frame minute chart that actually was pulling back to support. So I felt confident that it was going to go up because all of our other indicators were indicating that we were going to go up. Um, You'll see on the tick at the bottom where I've got that white trend line drawn. You can use support and resistance on the tick as well. So by looking at that trend line, you can see that any time the tick came down to that point, it bounced back up. So that's right where um, our entry on our smaller tick chart that I just showed you, um, you know, that's where we were at. We were at the lower end of the tick. So again, by looking at um, you know, the earlier price action um, based on this tick, anytime it got there, it bounced up. So I felt confident in, um, you know, just further confirmation in taking that trade that I just showed you. This is another scalp entry um, that's set up at about 2.30, and this was the last trade that I took for the day. Um, 
I got in at 872.50 and trailed out at 874.75 for a gain of two and a quarter. Um, again, you could have got your plus two and plus, plus four if you're scaling out. Um, now, this one, um, again, you know, we, we had everything indicating that it was going to go higher So um, on all of our other charts, so I took it. Uh, this also was getting close to the um, line for overbought, but just crossing over into overbought. So once again, just because of the environment today, I felt comfortable in taking it um, because we do have the divergence and everything is lining up for us to take this. Also, the other reason why I took it is um, on our longer tick chart, um, right where I have that arrow in our lower indicator, it was just crossing over, um, you know, showing basically um, a bullish environment. So I felt comfortable in taking this. Um, and even though I was close to the high of yesterday, um, this was going to be my last trade for the day. So um, I was willing to take the risk that I would, you know, hit my head on 874 and, um, you know, gets then come right back down. And that's kind of what it did. Um, you know, we got to 874.75 is what I was stopped out at. So that was okay. Um, also, our um, trending indicator was just starting to point up. So that was another reason why I took that, that trade that I just showed you. So, you know, again, all might be considered a little bit borderline, but because of the environment today, um, I did feel confident in taking these trades um, because the, this indicator was just getting ready to um, you know, go into the trending mode and our ticks were in positive territory. So again, I felt confident in taking it and was willing to take the risk. I wanted to show you this um, tick chart of the day compared to yesterday's. If you remember yesterday's, it was all over the place with um, action um, above that black line and below that black line. And today you can see that majority of our action is above that black line. So that indicates that obviously we're in, um, you know, the, the market's moving up. And that's where you get better trades is where you have majority of your tick readings, um, you know, either above the zero line or below. But anytime that you have them crisscrossing back and forth all day long, um, you know, that's what you're going to have is, you know, getting whipped around all day long. So anyway, I took three trades today, um, all using the scalp method. We did have a couple setups occur on the um, longer tick chart, but when we drilled down to our smaller tick chart, they were already in overbought territory for quite a while, so I passed. Um, but anyway, the scalps worked out just fine today. Um, trade one, I had a profit of three and a quarter, second, three and a half, and the third, two and a quarter for a total gain today of nine and a half. So um, if you want to get these two setups, go to www.easyeminitrade.com, and I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving.